This is the Miller Rods Beast Freak. Now this was the first rod I designed in our swim bait range. It does rely heavily on the American largemouth bass fishery and the sort of rods I've designed for that particular application. But our application out here is a little bit different. I had to make a few modifications to the blank. One of the big ones was creating a two-piece blank. So the handle detaches, which just makes it easier for us to deal with long rods in uh, transportation and storage. I also tweaked the action a little bit so it's a bit more suited to our, our lure size, but it remains to be a very versatile 1 to 5 ounce lure entry type rod if you want to try swim baiting. One of the big aspects I look at when I'm designing a rod and the blanks that I use on these rods is the balance and the weight of the actual blank. I like a blank to be relatively lightweight for its intended purpose, but mainly I want it to be really well balanced. Now this creates an inherent sensitivity, but it also allows us to fish with the same rod for hours on end without fatigue. And in some cases it even helps retrieve the lure type uh, rod angle for you. So in the case of using a swim bait rod like this one, the tip will naturally sit nice and high in the hand and that sensitivity will actually give you amazing feedback so you know what your lure is doing just about all the time it's in the water. Which is something that gets lost a little bit on rods that are designed for muskie or pike or even largemouth bass. They're kind of bomb cast rods that you wind your lure in. Our fish are a little bit different to that and a lot of the time we need to finesse. So there's no better way to do that than have a well balanced sensitive rod that gives you plenty of feedback. When it comes to the fittings on the rod, everything is high grade. Now this obviously includes the guides, which are all Fuji guides, and these are a little bit more robust uh, guide designs than I would use on an American rod, purely because we fish braided lines, we fish heavy lines, and the ceramic needs to be not only um, smooth in terms of your line movement in and out of the rod, but you also need to have nice heavy duty guides with quite a large diameter so our connecting knots can go through the rod quite easily. Uh, I also of course use the, the Control Freak skeleton style handle. This includes the Fuji reel seat parts, uh, customised extra firm EVA so it comes to hand very well and comfortably. In fact the rod just tends to disappear when you're fishing and that's what you want in a, in a really good swim bait rod. I also have the, our custom designed and exclusive extra heavy uh, hook keepers which might not seem like a big deal until it comes to hanging a four ounce lure off your rod somewhere in between casts. When it comes to the build of these rods, yes these are an imported production rod but so many people actually comment about how high the quality is with these rods and in fact saying they are the best they've ever seen and it's something of course I'm, I'm, I'm very pedantic about. The build has to be right, it has to be very premium for the Miller Rods brand. Now you're obviously watching this video because you're interested in a swim bait rod. What I suggest you do from here is go to one of our retail partners if you want to see one in the flesh and buy local and you can find a list of those stores right here on the website or you can go to our e-commerce page and you can buy direct from us. Either way, the Beast Freak is the best starter rod if you're getting into swim bait fishing.